hoping na sana magkaroon na ako ng sariling room na upahan. 18-year-old Gian Sharil David is a first-year university student in the Philippines. She shares a room with two others at a condo in Metro Manila. She used to live with an aunt, but a falling out meant she was left alone in the big city. Her parents live in a province north of Manila, so that meant a crash course in adulting for Gian. That's youth speak for doing grown-up things, like doing your own laundry or paying bills. Nahihirapan ako sa pag-aaral ko, sa pagsasabay ng work, tsaka sa pag-aaral. Tapos may times pa na namimiss ko yung may nag-aasikaso sa akin. Mahirap po kasi talaga. Lalo na yung situation ko, halos yung tulog, hindi ko na rin magawa. For Gian, adulting means working overnight shifts as a call center agent and also going to school four times a week. There's no room for casual coffees. She has to budget her salary for rent, utilities, food, and transportation. Nung nag-start po akong mag-work, parang doon ko na-realize yung worth talaga ng pera, na hindi pala talaga siya madaling kunin. So, um, mas nagiging smart po ako sa pag, uh, pagbili ng mga gamit, ganyan, sa pagbili ng food. Like many of her counterparts in Southeast Asia, she has more than one source of income. A Money Mind survey found that 67% of young adults in the Philippines had alternative sources of income. To help make ends meet, Gian runs an online thrift shop with a partner. They sell secondhand branded goods, and that provides extra cash for Gian's school allowance and, at times, rent for the room share. Hoping na sana magkaroon na ako ng sariling room na upahan para kasi bala ko nga po magkaroon ng work at home setup. So, mas okay po talaga sa akin na may sariling space. Mas tipid po siya. Tsaka meron po wifi allowance yun, tsaka electric allowance. Mahal pa po. Tsaka wala pa po talaga ako nahanap na malapit tas kaya rin ang budget ko. Jian has close to 100 US dollars in savings. One short-term goal, she hopes to buy a new phone in the next few months. Yung short-term goal ko po is yung pagbili nga ng phone at saka ng laptop. Since yung phone ko po na nagagamit ngayon, hindi na po talaga sa yung storage niya. iPhone 11 or 12 na makakatulong po ito sa, um, sa business po. Kasi Instagram shop po siya, so okay din po talaga siya pang take ng photos, ganyan, tsaka sa school. Gian has yet to save enough for emergencies and investments, but she does have a sum set aside for self-care. Ang ini-invest ko po ngayon is para sa sarili ko lang, like yung pagka papaganda. <laughs> Mas masaya po kasi ako pagka alam ko yung sarili ko healthy siya ganyan. Hanggang 20% lang po na sinusweldo ko yung tinatabi ko para sa wants ko. Ganun. Para hindi rin po masagabal yung sa mga needs talaga. Kasi yun lang naman po talaga yung kailangan. Ano ba yung mga sample ng mga wants? Like, yeah. pag gusto ko po bumili ng bagong damit, magpa-eyelash extension, ganun. <laughs> Jim Ung started early in both business and adulting. At 22, he sold insurance while still at university and applied for a flat with then-girlfriend Catherine. At 23, he went into digital marketing, quit school, got married, and started a business with $1,000 in capital. The 28-year-old Singaporean now runs a digital marketing firm with his wife. We are probably turning over like somewhere close to about 600K for the whole year, uh, the, the, the last financial year, and we're operating at about a gross profit margin of about 40% or something like that. What I really am saving for is just like probably for rainy days. Now Jim is looking for a new lifestyle, and he's figured out a way to finance his plan. We also plan to migrate out of Singapore just to you know, be able to experience life overseas before we have a child. My three-room flat now can probably go up for about 3000 a month, and then I can offset that for whatever the rent that I'm paying uh, in Australia or in another property. And then I can go ahead and even like, sell the car because I no longer need it anymore. So that frees out a lot of cash. Um, I think on top of that, yeah, it's 
probably less than 100k like for all of our living expenses and whatnot. Jim wants to bring their cat along and he's factoring in the cost of moving a pet. We need to move the cat over to Australia which is probably going to sell us like a couple of thousands as well. And then on top of that, the landlord has to allow us to have pets. So if that doesn't happen, then we probably have to buy, buy the house altogether. Jim credits self-reliance in being able to juggle entrepreneurship with adulting. I felt that if it has to be, it's up to me. Like, I'm not going to be reliant on my parents for any kind of money or any kind of like top up and whatnot. In the early days, we probably left like a couple of thousands in the bank account. Catherine and I were like figuring out like, oh, how do we uh, pay for our next month's living expenses? And I think uh, that was essential stress uh, in that sense. I think stress is a good thing. Uh, stress allowed me to take action. And when you are put in a position where you are forced to take action, that's where the magic happens. So will the magic happen for Jim and Jian? Follow their adulting journey on Money Mind. And if you have any questions or comments, let us know what you think.